Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we'll talk about the Battle of Carithia Vineyard that lasted from the 6th to the 13th of August in 1915. This was one of two diversionary attacks by the British forces to divert attention from the landings at Suvla. Commanding four divisions of British troops was Brigadier General H.E. Street, and against him was Ottoman commanders Tromer Pasa and Fevzi Kakmak who between them commanded six divisions of Ottoman infantry. First, it should be clear that the British Mediterranean Expeditionary Forces had never anticipated this battle was anything but a diversion, which is all the more sad for the losses. It was intended to distract the Ottomans at Helles away from the later landings at Suvla. The battle itself occurred over a very small chunk of ground known as the Vineyard. The British and Anzac forces were still under a shortage of artillery shells, and in order to partially compensate, the attack was split into two parts. Neither had sufficient artillery. The first day on the afternoon of August 6th, the 29th Division's 88th Brigade and the 105th Battalion of the Manchester Regiment would attack, followed up the next morning by the 42nd East Lancashire Division's 125th and 127th Brigades. The 52nd Lowland Infantry and the 63rd Royal Navy Divisions were kept in reserve. Opposing the British were four fresh Ottoman divisions, with an additional two held in reserve. On the afternoon of the 6th, the 88th Brigade attacked and had unexpectedly taken some of the forward Ottoman trenches, which they could only hold on to until the Ottoman 30th Regiment counterattacked. The British then pushed forward yet again, multiple times, but after that first surprise, they were never able to regain that ground. By the end of the first day, the 88th had suffered more than 1,905 casualties, representing at least two-thirds of their fighting force. The 88th Brigade was out of action at this point. The second part of the attack occurred on schedule in the morning of August 7th, as the 42nd Division pushed. The 127th Brigade was able to secure some terrain, but like the 88th Brigade, they were unable to hold it. For the next six days, the Ottomans counterattacked, effectively ending the diversionary attack as it was categorized. The area became yet another bogged down set of trench fighting, and this would continue to be one of the most deadly fronts for the remainder of the campaign. The British suffered more than 4,100 casualties, while the Ottomans suffered at least 7,500, all for a distraction that didn't really help the situation at Suvla, its original goal. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.